Okay. So I would like to welcome everyone to another meeting for the developers focus group. Um yes, so today um we are going to be doing things a little bit differently. And um that's that we are going to be talking about issues that has to do with development of the various projects that we have going on. At the same time, we are also going to be um discussing documentation needs um for some of our projects, especially the badging project. Let's see how far we can take this before we close at um 3.50. And um, that's why I'm sure Gloria and Harmony are around. Hi, Harmony. It's good to have you here. Okay, so the last time before we um left for the July 4th um holiday, we started this thing called peer programming where two developers are supposed to come together and work on an issue. And I think I remember asking in the previous um Chaos Africa sync meeting that um what could have been the issue. Uh, we didn't really get as much enthusiasm as we were expecting. So um, um I think I should bring that here again so that uh, we can actually discuss that before we move on to uh the next um thing we want to do so uh the current issue we have right now with the developers focus group and we've been trying to solve and have not um really found a lasting solution is that uh, people take up issues and they don't um it takes forever to create a pr and so you see people sitting on an issue. In fact, when I decided to like sit with the issues on the, the badging website and then began to clear them, I discovered that a lot of people are taking up these issues, but um, they were just not responsive in bringing up the PRs. So I don't know how we are going to address that. Um, at some point I had to reassign, but you see that that's a problem because um, it feels as if we keep going on in cycles and circles because you unassign someone and reassign another person and the person you are reassigning is also taking weeks, you know, to finish up on, on that, um, on, on that issue. So I would like to show it to the house. What do you think is the problem? How do you think we can go about it to ensure that we have an effective process going on? Yeah. So um before I continue, um Dalu, please do you think you can type for me? So that all oh, I could actually do that anyway. So who has the floor? Hi, Adenka. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Loud and okay, clear. So, <laughs> thank you, Hamza. Okay, so in my opinion, um, I feel like people can get maybe overwhelmed or carried away. They could um indicate interest to work on an issue and then probably forget based off of like priority tax or something. I don't know. So I feel like maybe moving forward we could like um keep it in a time based format. Like while they are taking up the issue, you could state it there that oh how long do you think it would like we're not the one choosing um the time for them. They should give us a time like how feasible do you think you could like work on this what time give us a time frame do you get so like two weeks three weeks whatever is convenient mm -hmm. for you so we could hold them accountable like okay if this isn't done in like um this time we could reassign it to someone else and then also within the time frame there could be like follow-ups like hello are you still working on this how far are there any progress and all of that so that they could like be held accountable and 
also get it done faster. Mm. Thank you, Gloria. Um, so, how many? Okay, so I would want how, to say wait, that. Sorry, sorry. How many? I, I was actually okay. calling you to say so something to you. Please, could you okay. um also take personal notes because this would be useful for you in bringing up documentation. Um, okay. Yes, and also Gloria. I think you and Gloria are going to be working together because both of you have been um very um. What's the word? The right word to use now? Like you've been um passionate about this and really want to get this um started. So what I actually want to say is just take note of all the things we are saying. I'm also noting. I'll try to note it down in our document. But what I want to say to what um Gloria just said was that um so most of the time um in order not to in order to uh. I don't know how to put this now. So usually we, we, we've been talking about it. We've, we've not really enforced it for our community here. But when you see other projects, you see that usually when you have detailed documentation contributed on MD guide and you go out there to see how you can contribute, people usually put a timeline to your contributions, say two weeks. And we've been deliberating over that. It's just that we've not updated it. Like if you really, really want to contribute, then two weeks is sufficient to pick up an issue, work on it and um, submit a PR. The truth of the matter is um, as if we really, really take some focused, dedicated time on, on an issue, the issues we have now, I don't think it's so complex that people cannot really sit down and just um, finish it up in say 30 minutes if they are really, really focused on that task at that point. So I think that two weeks is sufficient for people to be able to take up an issue and create. Yeah, we know that um, we are busy. It's volunteering work and uh, people have a lot going on in their lives and all that. But once you have decided that, um, okay, within this time, I think I can, I have the bandwidth to be able to take up an issue, then I think two weeks is sufficient. So because the danger is if you, if you now ask, oh, when, when do you think you'll be able to finish up? I've done that even when um, publicly on the repo and I got no response. <laughs> That's the frustrating part of maintaining you get. So um, so probably we should stick to a definite time. Again, what do you think about that, Gloria? Okay, I think that works as well. If we stick to a definite time, at least that will get them started. Even though they are not able to complete it, they would like, be there will be some kind of progress or an update like maybe to a, to an extent even if within the two weeks time frame if they are not able to complete it or this no i'm saying based off of like um any um situation or blockers on their end but they are giving updates like and we are seeing that okay this is almost done and then just a few more things and they can wrap up mm -hmm depending on um, the workload or their free time or whatever mm -hmm. could be the reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably raise a draft PR so that people can know that you are already working on this and you are actively working on it. Um, I think that should also be noted in the contributing.md guide. It should be given. So Amza, you have raised your hand. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, all I'm going to say, everybody has said it. So uh, just say, let me just add some little, I, which I feel like it will, um, it will, it will make a difference. So uh, I think from my own end, uh, let's add a disclaimer when somebody is in for each uh, issue that we have created that person would like to pick. So let's uh, create, let's add a disclaimer that's, hey, something like, hey, um, we anticipate your, we anticipate your commitment and we respect your commitment, but kindly note that uh, sending PR on so, so time will be very helpful to the project and so, and so uh, adding it to the uh, contributing.md also will be beneficial. So I'm, I'm, I highly recommend that 
thing that you said now when you pick an issue you should immediately send the draft pr so that people will be following up with your um your, your progress regarding that so uh i had issue with this when i first joined chaos i pick up an issue and then i go there i'm working on it solo i didn't create a draft pr and then the community manager at that time keep on reaching to me how far have you gone and then we go back and forth back and forth before i send my first pr nevertheless it's highly recommended that you create uh, that draft pr it's very very important thank you harmony the floor is yours sorry i i think it I didn't. I didn't even notice that it's raised hand that you raise hand harmony. I think that you are waving at me. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't know if I could go on. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you done? Yes, please. You can go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, um, harmony. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would want to say if there are ways which we can notify people when they are you know, working on a particular request, if there are ways to like, ping them. I think sometimes we get caught up with work that we forgot that we're working on something else. And if there would be a way, even if it's true Slack notification, and it will, you know, let people know that somebody's working on this thing, and also ways to also remind that person that is working on a particular thing. Because sometimes we're working on something and then, we just get caught up in time and then we forgot that we're working on something on the project. And I think that's the reason why most people delay in giving feedback. Mm. So by pinging, do you mean like um, a Slack reminder or a human being pinging them? Yeah, I think a Slack reminder could work if, if that's possible, right? And also would also help. And I also think that if it's possible for us to send in GitHub notifications on Slack, it will motivate other people to contribute. Because sometimes mm. we just get caught up with activities and we don't know what is happening in Git. We just, you know, follow up on update on Slack because probably the projects or the or other engagement that links to Slack. So if these things are done or notified, we could call it a notification a notification channel so because you keep buzzing somebody know oh i have something on github because he just saw you know a ping from github that i need to finish up so we should just find a means to remind people that are working on projects and also motivate other people to get on taxes thank you thank you okay Thank you very much. I've noted that down. Um, okay. So does anyone want to add to this? Winifred, more Dalu. Hmm. Okay. All right, no problem. So um Is somebody saying something? Yes, I was asking if I'm permitted to say something. Haida, please go ahead. I I actually thought you had spoken earlier. It's so it's fine. Please go ahead. Okay, so when um Harmony talked about notification, I don't know if there can be a way um we can be posting, let's say, um progress of a particular issue. I think that will draw other people's attention to it and also those working on it. And in case they are unable to continue, other people can see the progress and then decide to take it off from there. Mm. So what, what do you mean by progress? Um, is it, is it, okay, I'm listening. No, 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 continue. I want to have a picture of what you're trying to say. So let's say somebody is working on a code contribution, let's say on the Bajan website. Um, are they the one going to give that pro uh, progress report on GitHub or on Slack? Um, 
how would that look like? And uh, uh, so please. I feel like if there is a team that is going to be reaching out to those working, so that team will be solely responsible for um, updating the updates. I don't know if I'm making sense. He, we always make sense. It's just to be clear about what you're trying to say. So we will have a, a team of people that are following up on those working on issues. Is that right? Yes. So now, yes, now their task now will be, they are solely responsible for prompting these people and ensuring that, hey, I need an update. Where are you now? Okay, just give it to me. I'll handle the updating it on Slack or um, whatever channel we want to call it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, would that be the work of the project managers? Okay, my hand was raised, but just to like respond to your question, I think I was a bit confused because I wanted to ask if that's not like the job of project maintainers, but now it's seeming like project maintainers, project managers, I'm, I'm in the middle. <laughs> Again, what did you say? Hi, Adika. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. The last part, I didn't quite understand. You said project managers, project maintenance. Oh, yeah. I was, I, my hand was raised initially. That was when um, the last speaker just finished giving her opinion. I was going to say, is that not like the um, job or the responsibility of the project maintainer? And then just after she finished, you then mentioned that, okay, will that be like the job of the project managers? And I'm like, okay, it could be like the maintainer's job, the manager's job, like um, which exactly, who is exactly going to like be responsible for it? That's my dilemma right now. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, let me let me just quickly note this down. Um, let's say people asking progress. It's well, I irresponsible. So I guess anybody that's what did you say? I said anyone anyone can fly. I guess like any whoever is up for it, be it the maintainer or the manager, the project maintainer, or the project manager. I think anybody that is like available or up for it can just take it up between both parties. Mm. Okay. Okay. I've noted that down. I think um I would prefer it goes to the project managers because I'm I'm sure that there are project managers that are assigned to um the development team and they will love something to work on once they understand where the project is going. So yep. Okay, uh, so our time is fast spent. I actually want us to talk about documentation needs, but um, so um, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of things to put up in, in the contributed on MD guide. So far, um, the the documentation needs will arise from the problems that um. Con um, the contributors or developers are facing while they are trying to like maybe uh, make their contributions. So uh, I would just like to ask the developers in the house. So far, what has been your issue when trying to make a contribution to any chaos project that you feel could uh, documentation could have helped? Anyone can raise their hands and talk, please, so that we can note it down. So I've, I've, I've stated one now. One is trying to, uh, um, so people not so creating PRs on time. And so we could actually put all these um, regulations, rules and regulations in in the contributing to the MD guide to help people, you know, know when they are supposed to submit on time. And then uh, what else also? Anyone, anyone? Okay. See that no one has contributed <laughs> or nobody faced any issue. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm actually a big lord, but I wish I could win that Sorry, I can hear you clearly. Oh, I said I am lost, but I wish What do you mean? What do you mean by you're lost? I don't get. Confused. I don't even know what we're talking about. Like, to many people, to many people, I'm confused. I'm trying to. I can't hear, I can't hear you clearly, darling. Shidalu, um, do you want to put something in the chat session? I can't hear you clearly. Harmony, please go ahead. Well, I was going to ask if we can, you know, suggest issues we think that developers are facing and they would be able to affirm to those issues or, you know, give us a name yeah. so that we would know if we could you know, write them down or possible issues that we think they are facing. Okay, please go ahead. So I, I don't know if developers have issues in terms of clarity in the projects that they are working, if the documentation gives gives enough clarity in the project, if that's an issue we could note them down. And if they would, you know, prefer to have illustrations in the document to be able to mm -hmm. point them in the right direction. So I don't okay. know if it's something they would want us to add in documentations like illustrations or analogies to help them. Mm. Okay. So um so far that has been an issue. I can tell you for a fact. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, I can see. Okay, okay. So uh so, just just hold on, add... hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Amza, I'll get to you. So yeah. I, I actually want to respond to um to what Harmony just said by showing him something. Um not the budget API, the budget itself. All right. So um when this um challenge that I talked about earlier, when it started. Somebody reached out to me privately to say, say, I've not been able to pick up an issue because I don't even understand the context behind most of these issues. And so what I did was to go back. You can see this is um this one now. Build uh in, in person event and virtual event was opened on 15th of February. I had to um to head it. You can see edited by Hadin Karesa. So I had to sit down and change the entire uh, way in which the the issue looks following the new issue um templates that we created. Okay. So um that's a problem. And I would like to say that one of the needs, urgent needs right now, because we are going to be creating a new set of issues. If you remember, um the last time we had was it last time or two uh, meetings ago that we had at the Chaos Africa Sync meeting? We were going through the badging website to see um, things that could actually be improved, like the pagination and how it looks. Uh, we have not yet created issues on that, and we will be needing the tech writers to do that for us. Uh, if you if you can, anybody can create an issue. I can also create an issue, but anybody can write an issue. But this time around, we are asking that tech writers to should take time to create issues. Um, you know, look at the website. We can. I, I was really thinking we can look at the websites together. Recognize that this is an issue we need to work on. You guys will note it down and then take your time to write a very comprehensive issue for people to be able to pick up and um, understand immediately. I want to, if you look at this new issue now, if you see, you can see the template. So there's already a template that um, if we follow, we sh it should be clear and detailed enough. Um, okay. So does Amoni want to, to respond to this before I call Hamza? Okay, yes. I think we would also take it upon ourselves to review projects that have been pushed live and, you know, draw out issues from them through basically just like a quality assurance 
and stuff like that. So there'll be more mm, issues. Sorry, I didn't around. get that. I didn't get that. What did you say? Quality so, assurance. So I think, yeah, we'll take it upon ourselves to do like a quality check and user check on projects that have been sent live and draw out possible issues and okay, okay. put them out on GitHub. Okay. All right, please, Zamsa, go on. So, uh, just to add on what uh, Harmony just said earlier, I just noted. So, uh, because the experience I based on, based on what I encountered the last time I contributed, uh, of course, my contribution heavily depend on other people's work. So, they have to work on that before I pull their solution and then integrate and add my own solution. Uh, uh, that's another thing. So uh, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is uh, communication. So if you know that uh, I, some of your work depend on other people's work, so you should please try as much as you can and do it at the same time. Let me set an example. So uh, on the project that I worked earlier on, in chaos, so before I even get access to the uh, Pigma file, so I have to, I have to follow like three channels. I slided into Kennedy's DM, and then he said his route that will give me access, and then I let her go back to the project manager at that time, Catherine, before I got access to that particular Figma file. So this almost take four days to communicate to get this. So in summary, what I mean is swift response when you know that okay this particular project needs your input or need your attention thank you i yield the mic okay thank you okay we have to talk later thank you very much Hamza. um does anyone want to add to what we have written uh so i'm on you are saying please can i get the link to this doc what doc are you talking about i think the one you're typing on okay 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 does anybody wants to add to what harmony has just said hmm. okay Okay, so we have like 10 minutes to go. Um, What I would love us to do right now, I'm going to share my screen again and we are going to look at the budget website together. And then we are going to kind of point out some issues, although we will leave the rest for Harmony and Gloria to figure out how what else is needed so that we can write up the issues. But then let's, let's quickly see what we can document now so that um they can then follow up next on what to do let me let me let me share my screen again and please confirm if you can see my screen so yeah sorry what did you say I can see your security. Okay, thank you. All right, so the first, the first two things that right off, um, I I remember, um, I remember us talking about them in the last two meetings for Care for South Africa. Number one, we need more. Um, we need this table to expand so that we can have more records displayed on this um, page right so um i would like us to know that down harmony and also this pagination on a normal day it should actually be white so it's when i'm hovering on it that it, it can turn black not that um, it's black and then it's when i'm hovering on it that it's turning white because currently we can't actually see the numbers. So um, 
how many i think you were the one that suggested that we should have up to 20 is that right yeah, I said, uh, yeah. Could have okay more. so having 20 here now are you sure it's not going to be too long I'm is just it for asking. the page there's how no, they can for the for the um records actually column bars okay i said we could have like a max of 10 and then expand the size the width a bit to accommodate mm. uh, the text line okay so please note this down um anybody wants to say anything you can also um, let let me give you the link so that maybe you are on your system you can actually open it and you can actually open and then Can we go to the repo and see the issues, the available issues on the badging project, badging website project? Okay. Is there something you want to look at? Because the issues there are being worked on by some people already. Well, I think maybe apart from this one, but I'm thinking I need to get more clarity. I was not in the meeting when this, this particular issue was raised. So it should be good to get more context before we assign someone to it. All right. So Amza, how far? Is there something you want to see here? Is this the badging website or badging project? For rep the repo? Yes. Uh-uh. Uh, go to the code. Go to the code. Let's see. The code tab. Okay. Uh, yeah, is, there a is there a particular place you want to go to? Uh, go back to the issues. Issues tab. Let's see. Okay. 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 So there are, there, are, there are two issues that have been linked with PR. I don't know why. Have they been reviewed? Have they been reviewed? The PRs. Okay. So <laughs> there are issues with this too. Okay. This first, this first one now, Um, it's the PR has been linked, but somehow along the line probably the the owner of the pr deleted their pr later on so we couldn't we couldn't find the comments so i reached out to her privately but there was no response so i had to reassign if you look at it, it's currently being reassigned to someone yes, else okay. yes so Temitope is working on on it now okay. if you look at it i had to i had to on assign and reassign someone else to do stuff so this other one i think the problem with this one i'm yet to sit down with it is that it's dependent like you said it's dependent on an api that has not is, is either it has not been provided or they share an issue with it i'm still trying to get what the problem okay. is Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. The last second to the last uh, second to the last issue. I see there is there is discussion around the issue. So let's see why haven't we get because there is I can see there is 10 messages back and forth bank of fault in that issue. And I wonder mm -hmm. how up to now there is and it was open on January 28th and no PR has mm -hmm. been sent. Let's check that and yes. See. Yeah, because the person is not responding yet, you can see. Um, mm. I'm waiting on your response, please. You know, um, I actually pinked the wrong person, so I had to like tag this other person to again. Does the issue be as well? Oh, so this person, this okay. person actually, so you can see removed the assignment. Yeah. Last three days, yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, how come I was mm. supposed to get a notification? So 
you see now, no communication. The person just un unassigned themselves. Can you see? Yeah, no I do. communication. I do. <laughs> no communication whatsoever. Okay. You see? Okay. In the example, but let me see the issue description. Okay. 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 Uh, I think I think this has been solved already. So let's go and filter the badge. Uh, that's for the... pro that's that's for project badging. This is event badging. That's for project. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is let's what try I'm to see. This is what I'm like. You are showing us the repo of badging project instead of badging website project. Again, what did you say? Didn't you notice that you are showing us uh you are showing us um the repo of badging project instead of badging website? Hello, Hamza. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. I'm okay, I'm that, listening. Yeah, I'm thinking that you are showing us uh the badging project repo instead of badging website repo no they are they are together in one uh, website it's a it's one website i'll send both okay okay are you getting me look at it this yeah, is event budget different pages yeah, yeah. so it's together in one one um uh, website and one repo i understand i understand Okay. Uh -huh. so that I... issue you can raise any issue on on both look at if you look at this one now you would see that uh, so this is on the project badging um page this is a problem oh. for project badging yes. if you look at this one um uh, let me see yeah. so if you look at this one now this one is for badging events page yeah. this, uh -huh. so if you look at this one now this one is also for project badging. So project badging and event badging, both of them are in one website. I understand. Uh, and one repo. So um, let's see if we can reproduce the problem and see maybe uh, we, how many we can then make a well-detailed um, peer um, issue rather. And let me see, let me see what the problem is again. Uh, so you 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 can see some of the issues that I've been trying to to raise now. This person unassigned themselves and did not communicate at all. Yeah, you see, yeah. So GitLab dash hug. Let me see. It has been solved. You got it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let me let me see. Okay, is there anything like GitLab dash org? I'm coming. Hmm. Okay, are you sure it has been solved or is not even in the repo head no more? What's the problem? Do you get what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you get? Yeah, I get it. So that particular that you know it underwent some some um some maybe. testing. So maybe they removed it from the repository. You know what? Let 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 me let me just note this two down and then go back to it again and see if it's a problem that we need to revisit or we should just close the I will have to like sit down and think through again. Um okay. Is there any other thing? Um Amza, you said we should go through the not for now. Okay. Okay. Come on, do you have anything you want to say? No, none for now. Thank you. Let me stop sharing. So um, to some extent, have I answered um, your question, Gloria and Amoni, concerning what we need? We need to focus on the contributed.md. We need to focus on the issues, um, creating issues. And then again, I am 
thinking that we also need to um we also need to provide a wiki. Hmm. What do I mean by a wiki? Uh, so it's like a document that shows how a particular project, uh, the, the, how it works, right? Um, Such so that's when a new contributor looks at that, reads that wiki, they already know the flow of the project. So they are able to get started contributing without needing to like, um, they, they don't have to be confused. Let me just use that word. I don't want to say without needing anyone to explain to them. But the truth okay. is, um, you should be able to contribute without um, so much um, stress on you. So if we can also take time to work up on to work on a wiki, I think it will it will work well. It will it will do well. Let me just um quickly show you what it looks like. Then so I, do, get... I don't know. I think I think in context you're saying a product document, basically a project document, a product document. Mm, more like a user guide. Well, I, what 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 do you mean by product document? So, uh, so wiki are used for documentation, uh, mm -hmm. basically. So I was asking a wiki that you're basically asking to be tied to a particular project is basically what the project is all about, a project brief, what it should entail, probably futures, possible futures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the reason for the project, what it should, you know, align like in budget process, what that project should be used for. Mm -hmm. And so, so another thing is somewhat of a, uh, of a tutorial, if you know what I mean, like we did for budget bots where someone can actually see the workflow of that particular project, especially the APIs to know um how something moves within that um that that code, like how the code flow is essentially. Um sorry, I'm trying to look for just look for the chaos itself. Let me see. Slash chaos. To, to get the Slack bot so I can show you. Let me see. We'll soon be through, please, guys. Go to the reports. Slack. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the Slack bullet, I'm trying to see the wiki. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. You can see what I mean. Let me just put it in the chat. So you can go through and see what I mean by doing reproducing this same thing for the budget API essentially. All right. So do we have any question? Oh, I'm on your left, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Do we have any question before we round off? All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, I'd like to say bye. Bye. <laughs> Let me copy this and just send to Harmony. Bye, everyone. Um, we continue in the Slack channel. If you have any questions, just reach out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.